Good morning traders, Richard here doing a quick Ichimoku cloud chart market review of the NASDAQ 100 index. Um, we'll start with a big picture, weekly one. The index is now very close or struggling to get past this resistance zone 14482 and the top end of the resistance zone 14870. Now this is the old cloud chart resistance zone that was support zone that was tested previously in the second quarter of 2022. It's now a new resistance zone and you can see the index is now struggling to get past that resistance zone. But so far so good price action is back above the top end of the weekly Ichimoku cloud. So we are in a bull, bull trend. There's downside consolidation risk to retest these support levels of the Ichimoku cloud. We've been extended from the top end of the cloud. Yeah. So keep an eye on the 13.693. There's a turning line there of the cloud and the top end of the cloud yeah, is a key support zone. In case we get a uh, consolidation back down to retest the top end of the cloud for support. But so far, resistance, uh, this resistance zone uh, can result in a consolidation of this particular move. Uh, we had a nice rebound here from the front end of the cloud and this turning line of the cloud here. We also got a uh, cloud chart buy signal. Now, cloud chart buy signals below the cloud are generally weak, but still, nevertheless, we did get one and we had a nice rally in the NASDAQ. Uh, 100 index broke through the top end cloud chart resistance here at 13.533 is now a bit extended from this uh, resistance zone uh, you can see that uh, second third quarter of 2022 was also a kind of key resistance zone there so there's downside consolidation risk to come and retest these levels the resistance levels to see if they're going to be good support so 15.900 and uh, sorry 13.900 and 13 533 is uh, the support levels to watch out for for any kind of consolidation in the NASDAQ uh, on the weekly Ichimoku. Turning to the daily, you can see we're well extended from the top end of the cloud. So this market's right for some form of a consolidation. Watch out for 14.091. The turning line of the cloud there and the standard line is key support levels 13.800 as well as this front end of the cloud. Uh, 13900 we can see we get that off the weekly so there's downside risk to these uh, three this uh, support zone in the nasdaq 100 uh, since the 482 resistance seems to hold but the 14870 is the other resistance zone yeah so we are moving into a resistance zone also well extended from the top end of the cloud so can expect some form of a consolidation like we've had here in april as well uh, to take place over this uh, you know over the next uh, couple of weeks in june but so far, so good. Price actions back above the cloud. Yeah, January, the, the bull market started. Yeah, when we crossed the cloud to the upside. Yeah, and so far, so good in the NASDAQ on the daily. But watch out for those key levels to the downside if the resistance holds at that zone. Turning to the four hour, you can see how well extended we are from the top in the cloud. This gap here, uh, downside risk here is 14.041. Uh, the turning line is the first one to be tested, 14.439, then the top and front in the cloud at 14.240, and then the turning line there at 14.000 oh, well, 14, basically. So that's the uh, sub downside sub uh, risk targets on the 4-hour Ichiboku cloud. Uh, we can expect this uh, gap to narrow a little bit. We do need to see some form of consolidation of this move. But we've had a beautiful rebound from the top in the cloud. Yeah, so we had a lovely buy signal back here yeah, on the, from an Ichimoku cloud chart perspective. And now the rally is a little bit extended and we are closer to key resistance zones. Yeah, you can see there 14.4870 and 14.482. That's a critical resistance zone. So do expect some form of a consolidation over the next uh, week or so. And uh, these are the downside risk targets on the four hour. Turning to the hourly chart, you can see they're already below the uh, turning line of the cloud. Downside uh, testing for 14514 and then 14439 are the downside risk targets, as well as the bottom end of the cloud. If we have a very weak uh, consolidation period, we can test these lows here at uh, the top end of the cloud there. And then at 14,255, and then if the support fails there, quite possible to come back and retest the top end of the cloud. Yeah, this uh, 14,000. Uh, we can retest these levels pretty quickly uh, if the market's weak. But a divergence between the price action and the MACD, yeah, you can see. So there is uh, quite a high probability that we can retest these levels on the hourly Ichimoku. But so far, so good on the daily. Had a strong rally. Now markets is ripe for some form of a consolidation, a snapback to just digest the gains. 
from this cloud chart support rebound back up and then we're going to digest these gains so the downside risk targets is the turning line standard line and the front end of the cloud as well as the bottom end of the uh, of the cloud to the front side until next time happy cloud chart trading bye for now